Hi buddies, in previous video we have learnt about adding objects to local object repository. In this tutorial we will learn about how to add objects to shadow OR. From resources menu select the object repository manager. Now the object repository manager window is opened. By default, it created a shared repository with a file name called repository1. Now click on save button to create our shared object repository. I am creating a folder name or file name as Indian Railways. Now you can see the extension type as TSR. Click on OK button. In the title bar, you can see the path of file and also the extension. It is a shared object repository. Now, the process of adding objects to local or shared OR is same. The only difference is you have to create the shared object repository. How I created it. So by using object spy, we are going to spy the object. I am spying PNR status. Highlighting it. Yeah, we have spied the object correctly. Just click on add button. Then same way, I am spying reserve train between important station. Before adding it, always highlight and confirm. Yeah, it is highlighting correctly. Just click on plus button. Now these two objects will be added to our shared object repository. Then under object properties for local object repository it will display the repository type as local but for shared object repository it will not display then you can see in the title bar star symbol it means that this object is not saved so click on save button now these two objects is saved to the shared object repository we can add the objects in four ways to object repository it can be local or it can be shared also before that navigate to pnr status screen now under the object menu you can see the add objects just click on that it will take you to the previous active screen now click on any place in the window it will display the hierarchy so i am selecting the page object and clicking on ok button now you can see define object filter window is opened it has a four radio button selected object only or default object types or all object types and the final one is selected object types let me explain one by one selected object only means the particular object which we selected that will be added in this example i have selected the page object so if i click on ok button that particular page object is added now the page object is added with underscore 2 same way just click on object select the add object click anywhere in the screen I'm clicking on PNR status and select the page object 
from the object selection window click on ok in the define object filter the second option is called default object types it means that the object which have the functionalities will be added if I click on OK button all the objects which have the functionality will be added all together see uh, the images available in that screen the links available in the screen and the web button so for sample I'm just highlighting it showing yeah this is a web button and the edit PNR number and web table so all the objects which has any functionality it will be added functionality in sense by clicking on this link it will navigate to another page so that is the meaning of having functionalities same way we are going to add the object this time using the add option toolbar click on PNR status and I want all the objects under the page click on OK button now you can see the third radio button as all objects type it means that the objects which having functionality and also which doesn't have the functionality will, will be added to the object repository click on ok button it will be adding all the objects i think the screen has loads of objects that's why it is taking a lot of time under the same hierarchy if you scroll down and see it see all the object which doesn't have any functionality is also added for example I am going to highlight the enter the PNR of your web element you can see this welcome text is highlighted this particular welcome text doesn't have any functionality this is how we have to add the object I'm just saving it same way we will add the objects from train between important station I am navigated to that screen click on add objects and uh, click on the particular screen select the page object click on ok the final option is selected object types this particular radio button will be more useful while creating framework click on select button now you can see the select object types here we can select what are all the types of objects which we needed for our OR For time being, I'm just uh, I'm just removing the list and clicking on OK button. Now click on OK button. It will add all the objects under the important between station screen. If you see, it created uh, one more hierarchy since it is a new page and. Uh, the objects types which we have selected image link web button web edit button radio button even web table these are all the objects which we have selected has been added to or but we didn't select the web list so what we can do is just click on add object button select the page click on ok button then select now add the list 
so all type of list like web list db list everything has been selected click on ok button so as per our requirement we can check and uncheck the object types and click on ok button now the web list object will be added to the hierarchy if you see it these are all the web list just highlight source station destination station so the web list object also added these are all the four ways in which we can add the objects to shared or local object repository using the add option functionality that's the end of today's session we have covered all the basics topics in case of any clarification please post your queries or uh, ping me thanks for watching have a great day